Hi everyone. Last year during Black Friday I got a little bit carried away in buying lots of things to help improve my home office setup and one of those things was a stream deck, uh, a little piece of hardware that allows you to, at the click of a button, um, execute different commands on your machine. And I thought it'd be really good to be able to use this during virtual presentations and meetings. In particular, I like the idea of just being able to switch from my main camera view to my document camera view. So when I'm in meetings, I can quickly and easily have a conversation with somebody, talk to them about a problem and say, actually, do you mind if I just sketch back my understanding? And I can quickly, at the touch of a button, flick to the other camera and I can do all of that without having to fiddle about with a mouse and try and find the option to just, I'm just going to change my camera settings a second. I can just click a button and it's seamless. So what I wanted to do in this video is just quickly show you, using my document camera, how I went about achieving that simple setup. So first of all, we have my laptop. So I have a MacBook Pro, but this would work on any laptop. And I'll just explain how my laptop is kind of set up and connected. So first of all, I have a web camera set up that's attached at the, the top of my screen here, a, a Logitech webcam. And that is just connected through a USB into my laptop. What I also have, which you're looking at now, is a document camera, which is kind of something like this, where it's a camera that's mounted on a flexible arm. Um, and at the bottom of that, you've kind of got this camera section here that points down and you can see what you're drawing on a page through this camera um, and, and you can share that camera again. That is just connected through USB into my machine. Now, to achieve the switch from this webcam here, number one, to my document camera, what I'm doing is I'm using some software called OBS Studio. So this is free open source software. And within OBS Studio, what you can effectively do is you can set up different scenes. So I've got a scene set up here, scene number one, where I've got my webcam connected as a source into OBS. And I've also set up a second scene, which is my document camera connected in OBS. And then what you can do is you can assign hotkeys to both of these. So let's just imagine that my hotkey here is A and my hotkey here is B. In OBS, what you can then do is um, you can start to stream through a virtual camera. So what that's effectively doing is it's taking what you're seeing on your screen in OBS and it's making that available as a camera source. So if I was to run, say, a Teams or Zoom call, so let's just say this is Teams for now, and I'm in Teams and I have my camera option to select, all I do in Teams is instead of selecting my regular Logitech webcam, I pick the OBS and a virtual camera as my option. And what that will do is whatever I'm showing in OBS will show as my camera in Teams. The magic is when you add this extra bit of hardware in, which is the Stream Deck by Elgato. So Stream Deck is some hardware that has these physical buttons. There's different numbers of buttons available. The one I've got, I think is 15 buttons. But again, that just connects via USB to your machine. And then what you can do is you can assign shortcuts to these buttons. So here I could assign shortcut one to my 
main webcam. And here I could set shortcut two to be my document camera. And then when I'm on a call, sharing my virtual camera in Teams, I just connect through the Stream Deck software to say, when I click this button, execute this shortcut that OBS recognizes, and it will set that camera. If I then click the second button, it will say, execute shortcut B and show you that document camera. And that is basically it. So that allows me at the touch of a button to flick from my document camera back to my main camera and vice versa in a really easy frictionless way. So that's it, it's as simple as that. There's lots more you can do with OBS and Stream Deck that gets way more intricate, but just at a basic level, that ability to quickly switch cameras, I think it's gonna be a real game changer for me.